Hey, it's Jeff Summers with Watch You Know, and today we're going to be reviewing the iconic Casio G-Shock 5600 EV1 and E1V? EV1. E1V. I think it's the E1V. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the watch, tell you everything that you need to know, give you some close-ups and, and video footage. Then I'm going to take the watch outside, let you see what it looks like in the sun, and then I'll give you my opinion of it. Finally, the top five most expensive G-Shocks. And then I will let you know what I'm going to review next. So watch all the way to the end. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hello, people. This overview will also have a quick tutorial on how to use the watch. First, let's talk about the front of the watch and its dimensions are 42.8 millimeters by 48.9 millimeters. The watch is 13.4 millimeters thick. On the front of the watch, there is a variety of information that we see and that information um, is about the water resistance, uh, 200 meters of water resistance, and that it has a light, and the light is there on the bottom right. You press it, and it lasts for a second or two afterwards. It's pretty bright. I have a lot of light shining on this watch right now, and you can still tell when that light is on. So that's nice and handy. These watches are incredibly durable. And the reason for that durability is that they float the module and the components of the watch within the case. Uh, they're not attached to the case except for one or two differing points within the watch. So they can really take a beating. And I've seen these watches thrown against walls, run over by cars, run over by uh, tractor trailers, uh, hit with hockey pucks, boy, and even boiled in, in water and frozen. It's quite amazing what kind of beating these watches can, can take. So if you need a durable watch, for sure, this is, this is the watch to, to be thinking of. And inexpensive, it's $41. There's so many variations on this watch. Whatever color combination you might want. The glass is a mineral crystal. I want to take you through some of the functions of the watch and show you how it operates. So it's like a little quick tutorial. I like to operate the watch with something like a, like a pencil. And here's why. Because this button is really, really recessed into it. Let's say if you want to adjust the time. So here's how you do it. You press that button in and then you'll see, um, you know, something will start to blink. And then if you want to adjust it like to 942, you can do that uh, by pressing here. I mean, it's, it's very, or I skipped one, so it's 1042, I accidentally went too far. If you want to make it 24 hour time, you push where the light button is in this adjust mode. So to come out of it, of course, you just hit the adjust. And that's really how you go about adjusting on all of the modes. Let me take you through what the modes are. So we have an alarm, okay? Uh, and then you press again, we have a countdown timer. And what's nice about the countdown timer and the stopwatch is that we have the time displayed with the stopwatch functionality. So that makes for a nice convenience. Okay, so that's really all there is to operating the watch. There aren't a lot of alarms on it, it's just the one. On many other G-Shocks, there are many more features and functions, but this is the most basic G-Shock. And really, for most people, that's all you're gonna need, an alarm, a, a countdown timer, a stopwatch, and your time. And right there on the front, we, we day, the date and your your time. 
So on the back of the watch, I wanted to show you, we have the logo, G-Shock logo, and it gives us some information such that it is a DW5600E. The 1V comes into play where you see here the one means the color, black and V will stand for export, and in this case, Thailand. The band and the watch itself, it's made of a resin, and it comes with a two-year warranty. So I'm gonna give you one more close-up of this watch, and then we'll take it outside in the sun. Alrighty, we're out here in the sunlight with the G-Shock DW5600E1V. Yes. And that's how she looks in the sun. My opinion of this watch, which is extremely high. I have a very high opinion of this watch. In fact, I think just about everyone should own it. If you need a watch that is like a beater watch that you can take outside and not have to worry about it, you want to go fishing, you want to, uh, uh, you're hammering something uh, and you miss and you accidentally hit the watch, you're not going to worry because it's still going to work. The functionality of this watch incredible you have everything that you need and that's a stopwatch a timer an alarm and the time and date and day it's super comfortable to wear you wear this watch you don't even realize that you have it on it's lightweight and the resin feels good against the skin and it will last too I mean, it should last, this, the resin should probably last 15, 20 years. The things I don't like about the watch aren't many. The first thing I'll tell you about, it's a big problem with me, and that is that adjust button. It is so far recessed into the watch that it is very difficult to operate. And I know why they recessed it. They don't want you to accidentally start adjusting the time, but there has to be some kind of compromise. It's just too hard to access. And the other thing, the light, I wish after you pressed it, it would stay lit for a second or two more. So in all in all, this is one of the best values, if not the very best value in the entire world of watches. So go out and pick yourself up a DW5600, whether it's the E1V or one of the other color options, you're going to be happy with it. Number five, $1,050. The Frogman GWF D1000B1, $1,100. Black with blue highlights, this G-Shock features a depth meter sensor to gauge diving depth, a sapphire crystal, a compass bearing sensor that works underwater, a thermometer to measure water temperature, and a carbon fiber insert band. The GWF D1000 has tough solar power, multi-band six atomic timekeeping, and tide and moon age data. With stainless steel case, and a screw lock case back with the DLC coating, you know that you are safe with this watch while underwater. This Frogman has a timestamp function that can store 20 timestamp records of water depth, water temperature, and compass bearing. The Frogman line first released in 1993 is G-Shock's signature diving watch and is the only G-Shock line with 200 meter water resistance that is ISO compliant. Number four, the Gravity Master GWRB1000HJ1A. This Gravity Master was born out of a collaboration with Honda Jet Company with an emphasis on toughness and aesthetics. Featuring an innovative design with cutting edge technology, this watch has the ability to withstand the three gravitational acceleration forces of impact. 
the Triple G resist structure, tough movement, and tough solar charging make this watch undeniably one of the most durable watches in the world. This watch features Bluetooth so you can sync your cell phone to the watch. Number three, the MTGB 1000 WLP1, $1,300. This particular MTG pays homage to Wildlife Promising, which is a nonprofit corporation working for coexistence between humans and animals in Africa. This is seen in the striking African rock python pattern on the WLP-1. This watch is one of several environmental collaborative projects that G-Shock has made since the late 1990s. The MTGB 1000 models offer an extreme shock resistant shell which is reinforced with carbon fiber and reducing overall weight. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth. Timekeeping is extremely accurate and calibrated to one of six time calibration signals around the globe. Other features include high brightness LED illumination, world time stopwatch, and 200 meters of water resistance. Stable operation is ensured by a Casio original tough solar charging system. Number two, the GMWB5000 TCF-2, $1,700. The GMWB5000 incorporates titanium material into their square face design, which harkens back to the original DW5000C. The 5000 TCF2 camouflage patterns are created by using dot patterns of differing sizes and are finished with a diamond-like DLC carbon coating which protects from nicks and scratches. Some outstanding features are 200 meters of water resistance, solar power, and a time calibrated reception signal. Number one, the Mr. G 2000 HB1A, $5,500. Mr. G is the top of the G-Shock line. I've only picked one Mr. G for this top five, otherwise they all would be Mr. G's. This watch packs Bluetooth GPS radio controlled solar power timekeeping into an elegant design featuring a hammered finish bezel. The 2000 HB1A incorporates traditional Tsuki metal hammering which are supposed to resemble the scales seen on black dragon drawings. This is one of the most durable and accurate timepieces that money can buy. This watch, like many other G-Shocks, has the Tough Solar, which has a 15-year rechargeable solar capability that not only allows for sunlight to recharge the battery, but for much weaker light sources, such as fluorescent lighting. You may be asking why I haven't yet included a DW5600 for this list. Well, although they are not nearly the price of the aforementioned watches, the Keith Herring DW5600 model features several of Keith Herring's iconic graffiti pop art designs, and the watch comes in at $185 being the most expensive DW5600 in 2021. As you can see from this video, Casio G-Shocks have an amazing variety. And with that variety, there are a lot of different prices. However, no matter what your price range, I'm sure that you can find a G-Shock that fits your budget and you'll be happy with it. Hey, thanks for watching that video on this classic iconic G-Shock. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. In my next review, I'm gonna be reviewing this watch, the Zenea Eula Diver. So look out for that in about a week or two and I'll see you then. Have a great day, have a great evening, whatever time it is. Take care, bye.